Welcome to this video tutorial for the NMP flight application. The learning objective of this tutorial is to get familiar with the general layout of the application. The starting point for this tutorial is after a query has been launched and the flight list displayed on the screen. My first step is to get rid of the query parameters because I don't need them in view at the moment. So if I click anywhere in that bar on the left, they're hidden from view. If I ever want them back, I can click again on that bar. I now have the flight list and the columns chosen in my view. If I want a little bit more information, I click on the little arrow next to one of the flights and it opens what we call the second glance, which has a more detailed level of information for the flight, as well as, depending on the situation with the flight, some actions that are possible. In this case, the send SWM, which if I mouse over, I get a tooltip to tell me that is sending a slot improvement proposal wanted message. It also gives me the details of the status of the flight and again, if I mouse over, it gives me a tooltip to give me a little bit more information. In this case, the flight has been marked as being critical. So the flight criticality, the reason and any comments are also shown in magenta on the screen. There is a link in the second glance to the application called Mirror. That is an application that will be explained in a subsequent video. On the left hand side, there are eight hyperlinks to a lot more detailed information, as well as some tools that you may need to manage a flight. If I click on one of those, here I will click on the flight details, it opens what is called the third pane. The third pane contains very detailed information as well as maps in the horizontal and vertical view. There are two ways for me to navigate around all these pieces of information. I can click on one of the links on the left. In this case, I'll click on the ops log and then that shows me the ops log on the third pane. But on the third pane itself, the eight elements are also shown along the top. And if you click on one of those, that is another way to navigate through those different elements. So if I want to go to the slot swap screen, I can click on one of the tabs at the top and that will take me to that screen. It's possible for me to resize the third pane so I can see more or less of the flight list. I can do that by putting my mouse on the bar in between the flight list and the third pane, clicking with the left mouse button, holding it down, moving, dragging, and then when I drop, the size is then implemented on the screen. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment if you have any feedback for us.